There's a huge, huge, passionate fan base in that area. Um, we also, you know, when we go up there and race, the Modifieds come into town and race at New Hampshire, and I'm not sure exactly who's hosting who on those weekends. Th- their, their opinion of racing, you know, and what racing is and what racing's about, a little different than in, in every part of the country. And so when we go up there and race, it's a little pressure, you know, to impress. Because the modified crowd, they're hardcore racers, and, and um, you got to really bring it to, to impress them. New Hampshire is a track that's been a bit frustrating because we've always ran well. We've had a lot of uh, top five and top ten runs, and even in the races where we didn't get that finish, we, we were competitive. It seems like to me it's a track where we're so close to winning at, but just have never gotten that do- job done. There's so many like fifth, sixth, seventh, fourth, third, you know, place finishes. It's just like a basket of, you know, everything but a win. Remember one season Tony Jr. getting penalized and not allowed to be at the racetrack and then we understood the rule that was to be more clarified that he couldn't be in the racetrack. So he rented a motorhome and was parked right outside of turn two up on the giant cinder blocks. And I got a picture of me going by. We were actually leading the race, uh, coming off turn two, and in the background is him on top of his uh, motorhome up on the hill, sort of with his headset on, sort of basically being a crew chief just from across the other side of the racetrack. 